Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Rotten Tomatoes has seemingly removed the audience score for the Acolyte. Randomly. Uh, it's completely gone. So this seems to be Rotten Tomatoes and Disney colluding to play silly beggars. I mean that, that's all that can be deemed from this. At the time of this article and this video as well. It's still available for like other shows like House of the Dragon and things like that. Bit random that it's just disappeared for one, well, actually for all live action uh, Star Wars shows. Bit weird. Bit weird. So we'll take a look at this. Hit subscribe if you're new here, folks. Do turn the bell notifications on. It's a bit of an odd one, I guess. I mean, if you don't believe that there's collusion going on, I guess it would be odd. Definitely collusion going on. So not that odd. Anyway. Uh, let's take a look, right? This is on that park place. I'll leave the article linked down below. So, as it says here, the audience score for Star Wars' latest live-action show, The Acolyte, has disappeared. Or been removed, because we don't really know which it is. Uh, and that's from the main page for the series. However, the audience score is still available on the show's first season page. So, as a show overall, you can't see it. You have to, you have to start navigating into the seasons. Bearing in mind, we don't know whether this is going to get another season anyway. Probably not going to. It's not like this for anything else. Why is it like that for this? So, in searching for the Acolyte and Rotten Tomatoes, people no longer see the audience score, but instead only see the critic score. I wonder why they would do that. What benefit would, uh, would just showing the critic score have? I mean, it's not like it's the highest out of the two, is it? Oh, wait. Yes, it is. So, like I said, the audience score is still available on the website, but you have to go into the first season page to start, you know, to actually see it. it I mean, it's clearly collusion. It, it's, it's very clearly Disney. They did this before. They did this before with... Uh, Captain Marvel. They changed the entire website for Captain Marvel when that movie came out. And now they've done it again for the Acolyte. They've started to change things for Disney for the Acolyte. How bizarre. Especially given the showrunner, um, Kathleen Kennedy, the star of the show. I know that's like an oxymoron, but... Everyone coming out and saying, ah, oh, review bombing, who cares? No one no one pays attention to that. Ha 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 ha. We expected it. Ha ha ha. Oh right, okay. So so why is it gone then? If you're fine with that, no one no one pays attention to it and you were fine with that and you were expecting it. Why is it gone? Why is it gone? Now it says here it's unclear why the show's audience score is not available. When accessing the main page for the Acolyte. I would say it's very, very, very clear why, actually. So it also does not seem to be isolated to the Acolyte. Because, again, other Star Wars shows are the same. <sighs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, Andor, The Mandalorian, Ahsoka. Book of Boba Fett, no. Bit of a weird one. That's still there. So, that's quite odd. That multiple Star Wars live action shows have lost their audience scores. Yeah. You could at least make it not so obvious what you were doing. So Rotten Tomatoes previously faced criticism back in 2019 when it deleted over 50,000 audience reviews for another Disney property, Captain Marvel. The company explained in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, quote... We launched some changes to the movie pre-release functionality last week, which included not allowing users to leave a comment or review prior to a movie's release in theatres. However, we still invite users to vote if they want to see a movie prior to its release, and that vote total is displayed on the website. We have identified a bug in the post-release functionality for the movies that have released into theatres since our product update last week. The quantity of user ratings, which is displayed directly below the audience score and is intended to only include the quantity of users uh, who have left a rating or 
written a review after a movie's release, had included both pre-release and post-release fan voting. Right. So this explanation at the time made no sense, contradicted Rotten Tomato's notice on how they were updating their website. A blog post explained at the time, saying, Starting this week, Rotten Tomatoes will launch the first of several phases of updates that will refresh and modernise our audience rating system. We're doing it to more accurately and authentically represent the voice of fans while protecting our data and public forums from bad actors. So why have they done this now then? Bit odd. You know, they're not exactly... They're not exactly unheard of for... We're on tomatoes for changing stuff. I mean, look, Gina Carano, Mandalorian actress, uh, alleged Lucasfilm and Walt Disney Company had colluded with YouTube to have critics of companies' film and TV shows, um, you know, sort of from their, their, their platform, basically. Um, it says, this is part where KK demands any YouTubers get censored off of YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable the thumbs down option because of the ratio she'll receive. I mean, they did that. Then she'll have a publicist ghouls make sure Variety, Hollywood Reporter run hit pieces about the South Park creators and their families smearing their names, blah, 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 blah. It does seem to be like a thing within Disney is that they're so soft that they keep changing, forcing companies to change stuff. It's just that it's so patently obvious what they're doing now. The whole audience score just vanished, gone overnight. Really, really bizarre that you didn't think anyone would notice. More bizarre still that you didn't think anyone would notice and not make content about it and not call you out for it and not put two and two together. You're clearly colluding with Rotten Tomatoes. Clearly. It's clearly a complete sham. Clearly. Like... Yeah. It's weird. Why are you making it harder to access something? I mean, we know why, obviously. I say all of this stuff. It's, they're clearly hypothetical, you know, not hypotheticals, rhetoricals. Uh, we know why you're doing it. Just don't make it so obvious next time because it, it just seems really lazy. But this will not save the show. But they've pumped a lot of marketing into this. This has been shown. There's trailers of this in the theatres. Weirdly, heavy marketing push. So there you go. I don't have anything else to say on this, to be honest. It's a complete shit show. Thoughts down below? If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on. And if you do like what I do here, then please do support me further via Patreon. It's the first link down below. Because I do get demonetized, so it would be good. If you like the content, to help out. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.